We are full blown seasonal depression up in here and the snow is here. That's all we needed was the snow to start falling. I have absolutely no reason to be in a seasonal depression, but I do this every single year about this time. And, and I'll be the first to say it. I have no reason to be. I don't know what the chemical makeup in my brain is that causes me to do this, but I despise it. And it's one of the many things I dislike about myself is the fact that around this time every year, I decide I want to be in a funk. And I try real hard to get out of it. I think uh, we're on January 15th of the new year. I think I've been in bed 13 days since the new year started. And that's the truth. But now the snow's here. And I don't like the snow. I've been around the snow my whole life. And I normally like all things. I'm normally rainbows and butterflies. And, like, I just love everybody and everything. And I just, I, you know, I want to see everybody make it. And I, I do. I mean no harm to nobody. But I don't like the snow. It's cold wet, it's sad, it's depressing. And when you look out the window, this is all you see. This is all you see. That right there. That's it. That's it. It's so bright, but not sun bright. It's a different type of bright. <sighs> and my life's going good. Everything's going good for me, but I don't know. So my dad, okay, so we, we've not done nothing. Like for three days, we've laid in there and played like I've been playing games on my phone, I won't lie. But I've been working, too. I have been working. And he's like, do you want to go out and play in the snow? No, I do not. When I was a child, I did not want to go out and play in the snow. Ask my mother. Look over at my mother, and she's going, she's right. She's telling the truth. You had to beat me out in the snow. All the other neighborhood kids, my cousins, they're all like, yeah, let's go sleigh ride. And I'm like, no. Because you know what that, you know, we was poor growing up. Well, we, I say we was poor. We, we wasn't dirt poor, but we did not have matching snow gear. Nor did we have waterproof gloves. I'll tell you that right now. We didn't own snowsuits, okay? We had to wear like our daddy's uh work bibs and overalls and stuff. So you can just take me and my sister, two little girls that probably, that wasn't very big at all, uh, wearing our large daddy's outfits. And then they just throw us out in the snow and you couldn't move and you couldn't move. You wasn't agile at all. You weren't athletic at all. And then our mothers, to, to, you know, because we did not have waterproof shoes, waterproof socks, anything like that. They put our feet in bread baggies, like Heiner's bread baggies, Wonder Bread, whatever y'all's bread is where you live, bread, loaf of bread baggies. Slide our feet in them. Then when you'd come in at the end of the day, you'd have frozen breadcrumbs stuck between your toes. And if you didn't have no bread bags, you know what they used? Like grocery store bags. Like the Walmart. We didn't have Walmart. Like the IGA or whatever. Bags. <laughs> they'd put those on your feet. They'd tie them up. And then you proceeded to put multiple layers of socks on. Then you would put boots on that was too big on you. Then you would put a pair of long johns on. And a lot of times it was your dad's long johns. You know, a little pee hole in them. You was a girl, but you was wearing your daddy's long johns because you didn't get your own. I remember the first time I got my first pair of pink long johns. Boy, I thought I was stylish, thought I'd wear them things everywhere. <laughs> Catch me at the store in them. <laughs> and then we would proceed to put on you know, as many layers as we could on. And then we didn't have gloves with fingers in them. No, we had mittens, yarn mittens. You ever try to like build a snowman or make a snowball or anything with yarn mittens on? It was just like collecting lint with little snowball furries all over your... Eat them all. Just, I'm traumatized from playing out in the snow when I was a child. We didn't have nice snow gear, is what I'm trying to say. And it wasn't a fun time. And I, I have no interest in playing in the snow or being cold. I have no interest in getting frostbite. I have no interest in cold toes, cold fingers. And when I get there in, out there in the cold now, it's like my entire body tenses up and it turns to a frozen brick. So I feel like it'd break easier. I bet you if I went out there and stood on my mommy's porch right now for five minutes, if I could even tolerate standing out there for five minutes, and you pushed me off her porch, which was only about two foot drop, I'd probably just bust. As soon as I hit the ground, just shatter. Anyway, I don't like playing in the snow. For all of you all that do love the snow, and I know kids get so excited, and they love it, and I think that's great, and I like seeing people excited over it. Just me personally, I don't like it, and I'm sure there's somebody out there that could relate that was probably born the same time I was that probably grew up like I did that had to put bread baggies on their feet and play in the snow, and you probably froze, didn't you? Didn't you? Don't lie about it. And then, your mom would bring you in the house, and we had a fireplace then, and she'd say, go sit in front of the fireplace. Well, you were already wet, and she'd sit you in front of the fireplace, and then that wetness would heat up real fast, and then you'd be on fire, and then you'd be jumping up and, you know, doing a 
a ritual dance around the living room. You know, put your boots in front of the fireplace. Take, and you'd be scarves everywhere. There'd be water everywhere at the front door where you took everything. I found what is the point of a scarf anyway? That's just... And riddle me this. After you have all that gear on, you've got 100 pounds worth of gear on, too. And by gear, I mean all the shirts that you can manage to put on. You have no real gear on. You just have extra clothes on. And you go up an embankment, and it's not a big embankment, either. You might be able to hoof it up a, a hill, maybe 20 feet. Maybe. Because you're doing good to walk in them oversized boots and all them clothes. And the whole time you're struggling with that sled, you finally get it up there. You're trying to hold that sled still. While you're trying to get on the sled. It's kind of remind me of that time I went kayaking. You're trying to get on that sled. All for 2.4 seconds of a thrill. And you just and you have to repeat process. But you know what? Those are some of my best memories of as a kid. <laughs> I can remember my cousins going in the creek. I can remember my cousins going up and under vehicles. I can remember my cousins taking each other out on purpose. Well, me and my sister stood there, you know, looking like Ralphie off Christmas Story, like, somebody's going to get in trouble. But no, I don't want to play in the snow. I'm too old. 